Steve, you must be delighted. Yeah, delighted. Um, thought we trained really well this week. I thought we might have mentioned it prior to the game from Monday morning. The, the, our first little after our warm up, our passing drill, the lads were, were at it, brought plenty of energy, and that continued through the week. And we started the game off like that. I thought first 15, 20 minutes was as good as you'll see anywhere in regards where we played the game and, and some of the passages of play and the, and the two goals, you know. Yeah. Talk us through the goals. Dara, he's, he's done it against Draw there in the season. It was another it was another fine strike. Yeah, very calm. Uh, Stevie done great. Great bit of sort of quick thinking by, by Wardy and that. And Stevie done great. Chopped inside. Got a good strike with his right peg. It was a good block and then it fell to Dara. And, you know, he didn't. Sometimes defenders in that area can sort of have a sclaff at it, but he stayed composed, got his head over and it was a great strike. Yeah. The second one, brilliant play with Greg. I don't think anybody would have blamed him if he had went himself. No, but brilliant, but that's what we're trying to install here, like just make the right decision. So he took maybe a 50-50 or a 60-40 against into making it an 80-20 80, 80, uh, or 90-10 in favour of us uh, with the square pass, great ball, great composure, great movement in the way. Uh, Greg running off a shoulder down the side and then Wardy following it in and, and getting it squared and, and a good finish. What? Made the finish look easy, I'd say. It came to him quick enough mm. on a dry enough surface, so he got his head over it and finished it well. Stevie's goal brought the house down. It was a, it was a, it was a another, another wonderful effort in the top corner. Yeah, I thought Stevie was excellent uh, all night. I thought his balance and and the way he could shift off and chop. I thought he was brilliant and came in the way and, and unleashed a, a great strike. And he has that ability. But on the whole, everyone, I thought everyone to a man uh, was was very good tonight. They carried threat from set pieces and long throws couple of sort of hairy moments but I think with the size of their team and, and the areas to put the throws into and set pieces you're going to have that but we defend them well in the main and in general play I thought there was lots of really really good stuff Yeah, second half as well was lots of lots of good moments I'm sure it would have been easy to sort of go into autopilot training up but yeah, they kept well, going we spoke about that at half time we wanted to stay disciplined stay you know re- like stay composed not try and take liberties and, and you know force things and it got it get messy I thought second half we didn't start great for the first five or so minutes and then we sort of own the game and I think Finn Harps were, were happy to sit off the game and maybe keep the scoreline at that but some really good passages and we went close on a number of occasions in the second half too. You say that could have been a that could have been a really difficult game, but we've we've made it made it relatively comfortable. Yeah, like two previous away games, we're coming off a defeat and a draw. Um, so we wanted to get back on track before the cup next week, and you know, a good resounding three 0 win sets us up nicely, puts us back up into second, and we, we can we can look forward to the cup game now against Longford next week. Yeah. Asked you before the game, we, we, we confirmed that Mark's going back to Dundee United. What's what's the latest or is there any yeah, development? The latest is like uh, we're trying to come to an agreement all parties. As I said all along, it's like if we have our way, of course we want Mark at the club, we want them to stay. Um, but there's other parties involved, so we'll have to see where that takes us. Uh, we're doing our damnedest and our utmost to keep Mark. I just assure the fans of that. We're, we're doing all we can to try and keep him. And we'll see where it takes us. Um, obviously... Tonight the fans might have been a bit disappointed not to see him involved, but that's where it is. That's the nature of, of the of the loans and that you know. And then, um, as I said, the club, everyone at the club are, are doing their utmost and doing their doing their best to try and uh, try and keep, get Mark back. And we see it's it's opened the door. Sam Bones come in, another clean sheet. He, he yeah, was, well, look excellent. at Sam's been excellent. Sam's just an excellent footballer. He's a big man, but can play off both feet. He has all the credentials and tools. Um, to be to be excellent in, in either position, either centre half or centre mid. Played centre mid last week. Played a lot of really good passes first half, particularly. His last game centre half, he kept a clean sheet against Finn Harps, and the Friday before that, he was outstanding alongside Mark at the Brandywell where we went up and won two one. So in that regard, no worries at all. We have a, we have a top top class player coming into the team, and to be honest, he probably deserved to be in the team. Before that, it's just that the other pe- players in the team were playing were playing very well, and it was hard to leave anyone out. But in that regard, we're delighted. Sam Sam's a top notch player, um, but the more good players you have at the club, the better, you know. Yeah. Finally, Crook Park on Sunday. You've got to take it. That one half of the one half of the Dundalk goal with doubles done. Got to take it. Yeah, looking forward <laughs> to the game now on Sunday. Always easier. It might have been in doubt if we didn't get the win tonight. So always easier off the back of of tonight's win. So tonight's definitely the highlight of the weekend. That's for sure.